thank you for coming out and sharing this moment between two artists. One is a visual artist and one is a literary. And it is a profound honor for me that one of my longtime readers uh, has done this sculpture. The most interesting time period in our history when we went from being a little continental country to a global power. And the U.S. Navy was in the forefront of all of that. About buying the book, just know that I almost died for you. And if that doesn't get you to buy a book, I don't know what will. The fact that I was within my own country made it all the more peculiar, almost unreal. A noonday shower hadn't defeated the June heat. It wasn't heavy enough to cool off the place. The anemic effort just left puddles and a steaming atmosphere. While I was intently occupied in trying to spot any counterintelligence surveillance or an assassination attempt by the Spanish government agents. What do you suppose they'll do if they find out about him, sir? Asked Ensign Jefferson. While leaning out a window to the balcony where I sat, ostensibly relaxing with a book, his young face showed genuine concern for a man he'd never met and knew nothing about. The same damn thing we'd do if he was one of ours. Main inspiration for the sculpture came from the second book in the series, Point of Honor. And in that book, Commander Peter Wake pretty much wrecks the west coast of Florida. <laughs> he creates a riot in Key West, not intentionally. He sends the commander of Fort Jefferson into a snit and gets chewed out by just about everyone involved. And then he goes up and gets into a little dust up and managed to get an officer relieved up there and when he finally gets back to his home port in Key West he's called into the Admiral's office and the Admiral proceeds to give him the list of infractions and then asks Peter Wake why'd you do it son and Commander Peter Wake says I did it for honor sir that was the main inspiration. The more I read the books, the more appreciative I became of what a powerful character this is and what a tremendous role model that Commander Peter Wake can be for young people coming up, for people in the armed services, and for the population in general. Go ahead and unveil Peter Wake.